Hello everybody, welcome to one of my videos. Today, we're playing on Amiga today. We are playing Dizzy, Prince of the Yorkful. One of my favourite Dizzy games of all time, and the first ever Dizzy game I actually completed on Amiga. Haven't played every single version, but it's a great game. However, this was requested quite a few times, and I did promise my subscribers I would do more Dizzy videos, so I must stick with that. But anyway, this is Jamie from All The Sames, Dizzy, Prince of the Yorkful. Let's go. Okay, this is another game, Prince of the Old Fork on the Amiga, an adventure video game published in December 1991 by Codemasters for the Amstrad CPC, Atari ST, C64, ZX Spectrum, MS-DOS, NES and Amiga. Dizzy got some bad news for you, we're currently locked behind closed doors, luckily with the right weapons for the job. We have a pile of leaves. Put the leaves in front of the door. Use the match to set them on fire. You set fire to the leaves and the door starts to burn. Luckily, we have a bucket of water. Use the bucket of water to extinguish the flames. There we go, short and sweet, you're out of there, and your reward is some cherries. Right, it was the sixth game in the series. Initially, it was released as part of Disney's Excellent Adventures compilation. Right, avoid the troll, pick up the heavy pickaxe. Now, the creators of the series, the other twins, outsourced the video game company Big Red Software to design and create their game. And this was the first Dizzy game I actually completed. Not played all of them, but they can be quite difficult. Right, each of these games has an item. You've got to pick up all of them to complete the game. This one is cherries. 20 to be precise. Get to the end of the game, and if you have all 20 cherries, you're awarded with a nice, hot, juicy cherry pie. Which is marvellous. Right, we're currently in the clouds. And when you're in the clouds, you do get that sinking feeling because they're nice and fluffy. And you'll sink straight through it. Luckily, there's no water beneath it. Hillside. Right, go to the rock. And we use the heavy pickaxe. Your pickaxe makes light work of the rock. And it crumbles and disappears. And we're rewarded with some cherries. Okay. We have stars. Stars reward you with 500 points. You don't have to collect them. We have coins. 300 points. You don't have to collect them. Cherries. We have to collect them to complete the game. Up here, we have a gold nugget. Pick up the gold nugget. We need it very, very soon. And some more cherries. Now you start the game with two eggs, or two lives, and an energy bar. Now there's not many enemies that kill you in this game, but this next screen is by far the most difficult screen of them all, because it has water. And water in Dizzy Games is never a nice thing, because it's rolling is not a nice thing, especially if you're doing it near water. Dizzy can't swim, that is an instant kill if you fall in the water. But we do have this boat, it's a very very slow boat, but when you're on the boat, you've got to move with it, otherwise it slides from beneath you. Now if you arrive at this guy without a gold nugget, he'll throw you into the water. I'll take your gold as a payment for your crossing. Look at that big happy smile on his face, he's really pleased. Right, it's this speaker. Stereo. Find it, and behind it is a cherry. There we go. There's quite a few hidden cherries in this game. Now we can use that boat as many times as we wish. But it is difficult because it's very easy to fall in the water. Right, small cage. You put the cage on the floor, but the fossil couldn't be more disinterested. Well, he needs a little bit more help, but unfortunately we don't have the thing to put him into the box yet. And no, I'm not going to shove him in there. That's a little bit rude. That's a bit naughty. That's a bit bad. This is the Enchanted Forest. Right, up here, we use an item we picked up in the clouds. An Acme Bridge Kit. The bridge kit stretches across the gap to form a safe path. Dizzy is a good builder, but find her something to build with. I just love it when a plan comes together. Lovely. Pick up the star. Right, up here, where this house is, is another hidden cherry. Stand by the door, press the fire button down, and we find a cherry. We have seven. We're not quite there yet. Right, we need to go into the clouds again, but keep jumping, otherwise we'll sink. Right, jump, jump, and then jump. That's one way of entering a castle. Right, now this game does have some pixel-perfect jumps. Now you don't have to collect all the coins or the stars, but it helps. It helps if you want to get a decent score. Right, the edge of the tower. Right, down we go. The lower drawbridge. This is where we find a golden harp. Now we use that in heaven. We give it to St. Peter. Up we go. 
Okay, the narrow ledge. Now, if we drop off the edge here, there's another star. There we go, 500 points, but a perilous jump. It's always a perilous jump when there's water underneath it. Okay, on we go. So now we have to go to heaven. And no, not because we're dying. It's right up the top here. So luckily, he's a good climber. Now, not far away from this area, if you were to fall from here, nine times out of ten, you're probably going to fall in that river. And that would be an instant kill. I've done that so many times. That screen has killed me more times than any other screen in any dizzy game I've played. Even with a boat, it can be deadly. Right, up here is another cherry. The uppermost branches. There we go. Now we need to take a big leap of faith. And I don't know how it got up here, but in this cloud is a cherry. A cherry. Keep jumping, and then another jump. And we, here we are in heaven. This is St. Peter. What are you doing here? Your time has not yet come, little egg. When I fall in the water, it will be. Why are you so sad, St. Peter? I've looked for it everywhere. Looked for what? There are some problems that even you cannot solve, Dizzy. Well, I don't know about that. Dizzy's made a lot of games. I just happen to have a golden harp. Is this your harp, St. Peter? Yes, that's what I've been searching for. I'm sure you can find a use for my special cheese. There goes punching the air in celebration. Thank you for your holy cheese. Yes, I'm going to use that very, very soon. Right, that was not good. But I got away with it. My lord, don't do that again. Right, we have the holy cheese. So now we put it in the box. And then he jumps in. You put the cheese inside the cage and the fluffle darts in. There you go. And we're rewarded with food. Cherries. We pick up the box containing the fluffle. I still can't believe I got away with that. Okay. Now what I'm going to do to avoid making that mistake, but for a worse of time, I'm going to go into the clouds once again for two very, very good reasons. One, to avoid falling in the water. And two, there is another cherry in the clouds. So let's go and get the cherry. And it's much safer because you're more likely to avoid falling in the water if you go on foot at the bottom. So walk off the edge and we land in another cloud with a random cherry on a fluffy cloud. Right, jump off and we should stay dry. Boom. Hillside. We have 11 cherries and a full energy. Two lights. Now you do get one additional life, but later on. Three is the maximum you get. Now you do get a score, but unfortunately there's no high score. No high score table in this game. A few trees and a guy scratching his chin. Okay. We are here again. The troll is here again. Now, we can't progress past here without a cage fluffle. Luckily, we have one. You drop the cage fluffle on the ground, the cage is smashed open, and the fluffle gets angry. You won't like a fluffle when he's angry, he scares away evil trolls. There we go, the fluffle has frightened the troll away. Good work. That is all you need to do here, and rewarded with another life. This is the rear entrance. This is stairs and the landing. Right, well done, you've found a cherry. Now up here is an enhancement for that boat. It makes the boat faster. It's an outboard motor. So we're going to make him even more happier. He's going to have a block of gold and a faster boat. Right, this is inside the castle. Pick up the coin. Right, up we go. Now up there is a few more cherries, but we're not done here yet. We'll come back here later on. But we do have a key. Take the rusty old key. That is a very, very important key, but we use it at the end of the game. But we'll take it with us now. We'll take it to an area where we're going to need it later on. To say Dizzy is running a little bit more than he needs to. Stairs and landing. This game does require quite a lot of backtracking. I'll try and edit down as much as I can to bring the video down to a reasonable level for you. At the moment, we're alive and well. Okay, on we go. We head back to the castle. 
Now the game interface and mechanics resemble those of Magic Land Dizzy, discarding changes introduced in the fifth game. The fifth game was Spellbound Dizzy, which is a game I've never actually played, but apparently it's the longest game in the series with 100 screens. Now one of the things they changed about that game, apparently, when you fall from a big height in that game, that drains your energy. They took that away for this game. I'm very pleased. That sounds nasty. Right, this guy is going to be very, very happy with a block of gold and a fast boat. Even though I said that twice already. Okay, hello everybody, I'm back. It really is a shame, you know. What is? That my boat is so slow. It takes ages to go back and forth. That is true. A bridge would be so much better. I wish it was faster. I wish it had no water. It always kills me. Well, your mission's my command. I have just happened to have an outboard motor for you. There we go! This outboard motor should speed up your boat. Gee, thanks. That's much better. All I can give you in return is my scythe. I think it's called a scythe. It's a blade. Right, pick up the blade. Or the scythe. On we go. He's a very, very happy fairy man now. Right, now again, we've got to head towards the castle. Now, we don't go through the front door like most people would do. We jump into clouds. That's the way we do things down here. So, now we have the blade. We use it to cut some weeds back. Spiky weeds. Spiky killable weeds. Down we go. The tower drawbridge. Now, these are sharp and spiky. They will definitely kill you. But we use the scythe. Use the scythe. The scythe chops through the bushes, and the way ahead is now clear. And we are rewarded with some cherries. We have 13 cherries. Not enough to make a nice cherry pie. Right, pick up a star. 500 points for star. Now, another thing which is very, very good about this game is in other games, those torches on the side of the screen, they would probably drain your energy, or worse, kill you. But not here. They don't harm you at all. And I'm very, very pleased about that. We have another cherry. Now up there is lots and lots of nice treasure. They don't have to collect them all, but it's far too tempting to avoid. We'll go and get them, shall we? This is double trouble. Now that screen has an evil dizzy. And he'll follow you. Whatever you do, he will do as well. But in that screen is a trap door. Above the trapdoor is an item we very much need, which is a spanner. But, because he follows you, when you press fire to pick up the spanner, he'll press that button above it. And that will open up the trapdoor, and believe it or not, that is instant death. So, we've got to stop him somehow. Well, we do that later on. But first, up here is a secret cherry. And a secret coin. Right, so jump into the cloud and pick up the secret cherry, which is proving quite difficult. But then jumping in clouds would be difficult. For Dizzy or not Dizzy. Right, got the mystery in the air, Cherry. How did it get there? I don't know. It's not there anymore. Right, pick up the tweezers. Something I very much use for making hammer beads. Right, up we go. Take a shortcut. Again, pixel perfect jump is needed here. Right, again, I'm going to jump in the clouds. It's safer. We don't want him sinking through the clouds and falling in the water. We want him to save the day. That's what Dizzy usually does do. Right, so. Again, I'm taking it nice and nice and steady. Slow and steady wins the race. Falling from a big height will not kill you unless you fall in the water. Right, hello again, he's still happy, and fair play to him. Down we go. Take it nice and steady. We're in a fluffy cloud in the sky, and there's lots of water around us. But if we jump from there, we are alive and well. Now, if you throw an egg, a normal egg, from that height, that will definitely crack. Now, he is an egg. He's fine. Right, we have a lion. But where's the witch of the wardrobe? Ow! My poor foot, I was walking near the castle when this big bad troll came along. If it's the one I sorted out earlier, you're in good hands. And pushed me into the rose bushes. What a meanie. Well, it's lucky you say that because I've got some tweezers. These tweezers should help me remove the thorn from your foot. But it might hurt a little. Ouch. 
Oops, sorry. Oh, that's much better. I'm so glad to be rid of that thorn. And I'm very, very glad that you can give me that thorn because I use it later on. And that is a really my worst. A gigantic thorn. That will go right into my shoulder blade. We don't need it yet. So we head this way. Now that is a sequence that does appear in the game Simon the Sorcerer. The only difference between that one is Dizzy is, an, is a wizard and the lion is a troll. But he does have a thorn stuck in his foot. But you don't use tweezers to pull it out. He uses his hands. Okay, but that's another game. A good game. A very, very good game. Right. I've gone the wrong way. I've gone the wrong way. I'm going to edit this bit out. Right, I made a mistake there, but I edited it down. Right, this guy is scratching his chin. He looks very, very confused. Right. What a terrible state of affairs. What's the matter? Rock Ward, the bad troll, has taken over the castle whilst the king is away on crusades. And to make matters worse, the princess is trapped in the castle somewhere. If there was only some way I could tell the king. Don't worry, I'll help you. Oh, would you? I'd be ever so grateful. Here, take my flying carpet. I never passed my flying test. Well, I didn't either, so it's fine. Right, we give him the brass buggle. Where did you find my buggle? I looked everywhere. Well, you didn't look hard enough, now did ya? I found it in the tower ballroom. You didn't go there, now did ya? That nasty troll has dented it, and it's all dusty. I'll have to see if it's still okay. Sounds fine to me, even though I can't hear it, and neither can you. Take my joke book, I ch it cheered me up when I thought I'd lost my buggle. Look how happy he is. He's dancing, he's waving. He's a happy man. Right, we don't need it yet. We head back, we go and get that thorn. Okay. That very, very big thorn. Look how happy he is. He's even got a bandage on it now. What a nice guy you are, Dizzy. Right, we have the sharp thorn. Now we must go back, and again, we must tackle the most difficult screen on this game. The evil boat. But now the boat is faster. But we still have to run along with it. But now it, it moves at exactly the same speed Dizzy runs or walks. So we've got to keep moving. Right, we avoided it again. He still looks very, very happy. And I don't blame him. And I'm happy because I can fall in the water. So once again, doors are so old school. We go clouds. That's the way to go. The enhanced treetops. Don't fall through the clouds. Keep jumping. Walk and jump. Walk, jump, and then jump at an angle. And we're boom, boom, pow. We're through. We're over. Power drawbridge. A lot of backtracking. Well, that's Dizzy Games for you. However, not all the Dizzy games were adventure games. Some of them were puzzle and some of them were arcade. I've got statistics over here. I haven't read them yet, but there's so many on there. But this is the Tower Ballroom. Right, so there's a potion. Leave it there. We don't need it yet. Up we go. Right, now we go and find that evil Dizzy. And he's going to get the absolute shock of his life. Now, copying someone can be a little bit annoying. But... We're going to change all that. We're going to place it there. You drop the thorn on the floor and he has no idea what's going to happen to him. It's going to hurt. It's really going to hurt. But anyway, he deserves it. He's evil. There's only one Dizzy around here. And that's him. A nice Dizzy. The evil Dizzy walks over the thorn and is destroyed forever. Boom. Okay, that is the end of the evil Dizzy. Now this key that we've been carrying around for quite some time, we need it up there. So we're going to leave it here. We don't need to keep carrying it around with us if we don't need it. So, but we do need a spanner. A greasy spanner. Oh, and some cherries. There we go. Rest in peace, evil Dizzy. Right. Now we have to go back to the other side of the game. Unfortunately, Dizzy, you've got quite a few more screens to contend with yet. No, scratch that, you've got quite a lot to contend with. 
Lucky's got his walking boots on. Okay, now the first ever game came out in 1987, which was called Dizzy. Released on the CPC and C64. After that, we had Treasure Island Dizzy in 1988. After that, we had Fast Food Dizzy, Fancy World Dizzy, Quick Snacks, Magic Land Dizzy, Panic Dizzy, Bubble Dizzy, Spellbound Dizzy, Dizzy Prince of York Fork, Dizzy Down the Rapids, Fantastic Dizzy, Crystal Kingdom Dizzy, Dizzy the Adventurer, Dizzy Prince of York Fork, the mobile remake, Wonderful Dizzy, Dream World Boggy, which was a spin-off game, Mystery World Dizzy, and Wonderful Dizzy. Now, Wonderful Dizzy was actually scheduled for the Spectrum Next, and as of 2019, it's not out yet. But hopefully one day, we might see a Spectrum Next. And if we do see a Spectrum Next, that's definitely what I'm going to get in the future. So it'd be great to see more Dizzy games. He deserves to have more games, but they're all very, very difficult. There's so many there that I have not played. But they're released on so many different systems. And there was also compilations as well. You had the Dizzy Collection in 1991. Right, we pick up the joke book, and he's still dancing. We also had Dizzy's Excellent Adventures in 1992, and also the same year, the Excellent Dizzy Collection, which was for the Mars System and Game Gear, and the Big Six in 1994, which was on the CD32, which had Dizzy Prince of York for Crystal Kingdom Dizzy, Fantastic Dizzy, Treasure Island Dizzy, Spellbound Dizzy, and Magic Land Dizzy. Okay, the Dizzy Collection on the Amstrad CPC, ZX Spectrum and C64 was Dizzy, Treasure Island Dizzy, Fast Food, Fancy World Dizzy and Magic Land Dizzy. Right, we arrive at the Castle Drawbridge. The mechanism just won't budge. Well, it's funny we have to have the hey, ha, ha, ha. Well, we just happen to have a greasy spanner. The spanner loosens the mechanism and the drawbridge is lowered. Boom. So many of these games have drawbridges. Now also, the Dizzy Collection was released for Amiga and Atari ST as well, in the same year. That one contained Quick Snacks, Treasure Island Dizzy, Fast Food Dizzy, Fantasy World Dizzy, and Magic World and Dizzy. The excellent Dizzy Collection, which was on Master System Game Gear, was Go Dizzy Go, Dizzy the Adventurer, and Panic Dizzy. How many times am I going to say Dizzy today? What a lot. Okay, on we go. Now that Big Six, I did used to have that on the C32, but being an absolute nincompoop in the old days, I sold it. And boy oh boy, do I regret it. But anyway, the Castle Gardens. Boo hoo, she's upset. Another person that is upset. Why are you crying, Princess? If only my father would return, he'd know what to do. I know what to do. I'm going to give you a jolly joke book. That'll put a smile on your face. Don't cry, Princess. Maybe this joke book will put a smile on your face. And it already has. Thank you. You're very kind. I feel a little less sad now. Good. This flag, no use while my father is away. She gives you a flag. Pick up the legal flag. Now we go to the castle and we raise the flag. This is going very, very well. We've got 17 cherries. We're very, very close to the end of this game. And I haven't died yet. Touch wood. Okay. Pick up the loaf of bread. Some tasty bread. Okay, inside the castle. Now in November 2001, it was announced that the game was being released on Android and iOS platforms with an HD remake of the game. And believe it or not, not played that one either. Right, up here we have two cherries. One on the left and one on the right. There's one. 18. Over here is the next one. Bring it up to 19. One to go. And we have a place to put the flag up. Excellent. Press fire. We select the regal flag. You raise the flag and it flutters in the breeze. And he's dancing like there's no tomorrow. Fair play. Life is good. The flag's raised in the king's home. Is the king's home, Jamie? I'd better play a Fanfare. The king hears the butler's fanfare and returns home. Hello everybody. Welcome. Who are you and what are you doing in my castle? 
I'm doing a lot of work, actually, Boom's the King. Um, I'm dizzy, Your Majesty. Speak up, boy! Well, I banished the troll from your castle, and cheered up your daughter with a joke book. And you expect me to believe that? Well, yes. Kneel before me, roars the king impatiently. Now, it is time for you to get what you undoubtedly deserve. The king lifts his sword aloft. Arise, Sir Dizzy. Prince of the York Fork. There we go. Sir Dizzy to you now. We are Sir Dizzy. Okay, we are very nearly there. All we've got to do now is retrace our steps. And we've got to save Daisy. Daisy is Dizzy's girlfriend who gets captured so many times. But we're not done yet because we've got to get over the water again. But for the final time. Hopefully the last time. The fall in it now would be disastrous. But then I do have three lights. So once again Dizzy, your legs must be absolutely killing you right now. But we need one more cherry and then boom boom pow, job is done. Now, I've not actually played the C64 version of this game, yet. But I am going to be doing a lot more Dizzy Long Plays. I promise people I'm going to do them, and I'm going to stick my own words and do it. Right. This is the Bank of the River Styx. A.K.A. the most difficult screen in the game. There we go. Now, in another game which I played, I can't remember what it was. Possibly Fantasy World Dizzy, I think. There was a section where there is water with a crocodile. That's dangerous. That killed me quite a few times. And in another game, there is a shark's fin. You've got to run along the shark's fin. And that is also a difficult section which involves water. So many of these difficult hazards in these games involve water. And you don't want really bad rolling in areas with really dangerous water because Dizzy cannot swim. He's good at jumping, I mean he's good at rolling, he'd be very good at gymnastics. He'd be the best in gymnastics, he'll definitely get a gold medal for that. But he won't get anything for swimming. Right, we pick up the potion, the bottle of potion. Okay. Mind you, there is a few games where Dizzy does involve swimming and one of them is Bubble Dizzy and of course Treasure Island Dizzy, but he must have a snorkel first. Otherwise he will drown. Right, we pick up the key which we left in the inner sanctum. All we've got to do now is go up here and we're there. We have 19 cherries. Well, luckily there's one there. We've got to open the door first. Use the rusty old key. The rusty key turns and the door creaks open. We pick up our final cherry. Boom, boom, pow. And there is Daisy. Asleep. You kiss Daisy and her cheeks start to glow. She's waking up. Oh, Dizzy, you've saved me again. He saved you lots of times because he loves you. I'm so glad you're safe, Daisy. There you go. Look how happy she is. Look how happy he is. Thank you, Dizzy. Now we can go and make Grand Dizzy a cherry pie. Well, it's funny you say that. You just happen to have 20 of them. There we go. They're in their balloon. Fair play to them. Up, up and away. Grand Dizzy's hut. There you go. Congratulations. There is Dizzy, Sir Dizzy, and there's his girlfriend, Daisy. A great big love heart and a nice, lovely cherry pie that included 20 cherries. This is the demo section. So once again, Dizzy is very, very busy right now, doing what he does best, helping others out. And picking up the occasional coin from time to time, but no cherries. Now, unfortunately, this person has lost his wand. I don't know where it is. Uh, but if I see one, I'll let you know. But anyway, Dizzy is here to save the day. If I find your magic wand, will you help me across this lake, please? Yes, of course I will. But he can't do it without a magic wand. So, luckily for him, he saw one quite recently. And so did I, actually. It's on the floor now. So you pick up the magic wand. 
and he progresses and then boom boom pow he didn't look very hard did he he really didn't look very hard i found your magic wall gosh that was quick i shall cast about a spell and help you across the lake well you didn't look hard enough just do a normal jump and my magic wand will do the rest there we go now that is some crazy crazy magic there we go he's back to the start it just goes round in a loop Anyway, people, that's the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Jamie from Morganus Games. Please like, please comment, please share, and please subscribe to my channel. I have a Facebook fan page, on Instagram, also on Twitch. Just type in Morganus Games, you'll find it fairly easy. Please remember to hit the bell icon. That will notify you videos that will be fantastic. We're not doing these sort of videos. I do have a beat making, I do live streams every Friday night, UK time, 8 o'clock. It's the highlight of my week. Until next time, take it easy. Ciao, bye. See ya. Okay, we need to see some. Now, there's not actually a lot of statistics, and to be honest, I don't think it needs it because there's a lot of reading to do anyway. So, where's my paper and pen? Pen, check, pad. Where is it? How can you lose a pad of paper? Oh, joystick. No. Oh. Can you stop putting joystick? Oh my lord, I've got major tangles once again. Okay, this is start again. This is Prince of Persia. Prince of Persia? Oh my god. Prince of Persia? What's in this wine? That's slightly wrong, Jamie. Yes, Prince is right. This is this is this is gonna be quite surprisingly difficult because I have finished this game quite a few times. I can do it. But I've never played it while reading statistics before. Right. Now this was the fifth in the series. I've said that once already. Haven't I? No, it wasn't. It was the sixth. Spellbound, Dizzy, was the fifth. Right, Jamie, you've made a mistake already. Okay, this is the start of the game. This is Disney, Prince of the Milk Fork on the CC... C64? Jamie, get a grip, man. Okay, this is the start of the game. Disney, Prince... Disney. Disney? Jamie, what is wrong with you? Okay, this is sort of get. <coughs> My lord. Right, I'm going to drink this last bit of wine and no more because I'm getting my words in a major twist. Right, I've only had half a glass. Blimey. Okay, this is the start of the game. This is Disney. You said it again. Disney? Dizzy?